As one of gymnastics' all-time greats, Simone Biles has repeatedly demonstrated her determination and sporting excellence. A different aspect of that strong character has been in evidence during these Olympics. First withdrawing in the early stages of the women's team final, and then pulling out of her next gold medal competition on Thursday. Biles instead choosing to prioritise her mental health. I was just like shaking, could barely nap. I just never felt like this going into a competition before. And I tried to go out here and have fun and warm up in the back, went a little bit better. But then once I came out here, I was like, no, mental is not there. So I just need to let the girls do it and focus on myself. All athletes arriving at these delayed Olympics faced unique external pressures from dealing with unprecedented levels of social media scrutiny to the fear of a positive COVID-19 test. Biles had also set herself the task of becoming the first female gymnast to win five gold medals at a single games. The athlete normally doesn't have a voice, nor does an athlete trust their voice. She not only has a voice, which I love, but she also trusts her voice. And she knows she's going to get a little bit of backlash from fans and you know, people are like, how could you let your team down or whatever? But the best thing she can do is shut off all this outside chatter. Anything that's not coming from her own head or from her support system need not, need not be heard. Earlier this year, Japan's sporting superstar Naomi Osaka took a two month break from playing top level tennis. She said she no longer wanted to do press conferences in order to protect her mental health. She also admitted to having prolonged bouts of depression ever since winning her first Grand Slam title in 2018. It brought a temporary halt to her career, but did start an important conversation in her home country. I think in Japan, we, don't, we still don't talk about mental health. And when uh, Naomi Osaka came out with the issue, there's been lots of uh, comments, negative comments on her. And I believe that was also kind of exaggerated with the gender um, issue. After her unexpected loss at these games, Osaka admitted to feeling weighed down by the pressure of playing in a home Olympics. Biles may yet compete in next week's individual event finals. Regardless, this pair of champion athletes are leading the way in showing the world it is okay to talk about mental lows as well as sporting highs. Now let's go back to Andy Richardson, who joins us once again from Tokyo. And Andy, what's been the response from athletes competing in Tokyo? I think it's been really telling. I think in the past, if an athlete had pulled out of an event like this, she may have uh, expected to have received a lot of criticism. The overwhelming uh, sentiment towards Simone Biles has been one of support from athletes around the world and also from within uh, the US Olympic team. Let's have a listen to what some of her Olympic teammates have had to say. I really hope that she continues to do what's best for her and that the people around her, her coaches, her teammates continue to support her. I know that the Team USA swimmers certainly support her and uh, the, the US gym, gymnastics team and, and all of our teammates. Um, you know, and, and mental health is so important. At the end of the day, so many little people understand the struggles of an elite athlete, let alone an athlete like Simone Biles, who's at the top of her um, training range. And she is the curve. She's literally her own bar. And I don't think people fail. People fail to recognize that she is also a human being. So